Automated trading sounds like an amazing idea. Who wouldn't press a button to theoretically print money within the financial markets? Now, although it sounds like something that's really easy to do, in reality, it is very difficult. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about the essential foundation that you need to understand in order to be successful in automated trading and also just successful within the financial markets. This is a huge part of financial markets that now makes up over 50% of daily trading volume. So it's super important that you have a basic understanding of what's actually going on behind the scenes. Now, before I get into the video, one thing that's much easier than automated trading is smashing the like button. So make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And also make sure to join the Discord group down in the description down below if you would like to join our community of like-minded traders sharing trading ideas and strategies every single day. So make sure to do that as well. One final thing I want to mention is who I am and what experience I have in the markets. I highly recommend that you check out my previous video on who I am if you would like to learn more about that and my trading experience because I think a lot of people might have the question of who is this person? Why are they talking about automated trading? Do they even have any experience in it? And so make sure to watch that video if you would like to learn a little bit more about me. However, let's get right into the video talking about automated trading. And the first thing I want to talk about is why automated trading is so secretive. Why are you unable to find almost any information online about automated trading or at least any good information? There might be some stuff online. However, it's not that good. And that's really what I want to provide on this channel. Now, the reason why automated trading is such a secretive industry is because the less people that participate in it, the less people that use automated strategies, the more that the people that use automated strategies are able to make. So let me give you a very basic example of this. Let's say that I create an automated program that is able to read satellite images of Tesla factories and count the number of cars in the parking lots in order to predict the earnings of Tesla stock. So let's say I create this really amazing automated strategy for my hedge fund, and then it's making a ton of money. However, the only thing is over time, you start to notice that the profitability is going down. You used to be making, let's say 10% on average for every earnings. However, now you're making three or 4% and you're wondering why this is. The thing is, is that automated trading is very competitive in the fact that everyone's trying to find the next thing that the other people do not know. So if I find out this amazing thing about Tesla and counting the cars in their parking lots, and then over time, other firms start to find out this same thing too, then as more and more people start using it, it becomes less and less profitable because the pricing for that one piece of information is already widely known within the markets. And so it starts to become more and more priced in. And so that's why there's always this fight for the next secret thing, the next one, you know, small change that they make to their strategies that can drastically increase the profitability because maybe no one else is using it. And so by having less information online about automated trading, it means that less people are able to get into the industry, which is good. It means that less people are going to be able to experiment with different strategies, which is good for them. So basically the less competition there is, the better it is for automated traders. And that's why it's so hard to find any information about it online. Now you might be wondering, well, how hard can it actually be to make automated strategies? How hard can it be to make consistent money within the financial markets, creating these automated strategies? Now I want to put this into perspective at these hedge funds and at these funds, there are people who get paid hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars every single year with their entire career focused in creating these automated strategies. So when you get into the automated industry, when you're trying to make an automated strategy or when you're trying to find a new piece of information that could possibly become profitable, you have to remember that you are literally fighting against teams of geniuses that get paid a ton of money to devote their entire life to doing this. And that's why it can be so difficult in order to try to create a truly consistent and profitable strategy that provides better returns than the S&P 500. So it's extremely difficult to do. And that's another reason why you are never going to actually find, uh, for example, an automated strategy that's really profitable for sale online because it's just so hard to do. Most of the people that try to do it can't even do it. So it's super difficult in order to try to create these automated strategies. Now you might be wondering, well, what can I do in order to take advantage of this? 
If this is still something that's super profitable, if it sounds super amazing, I can just click a button and automatically make money. How can I take advantage of automated trading? And this is a good question. And the first way I'm going to talk about has a much higher barrier to entry. And then the second way I'm going to mention is going to be a lot easier to do. Now, the first way I want to mention, and I think something that a lot of people don't think about is if you already have a considerable amount of money, so let's say you have $100,000 or a million dollars that you're looking to invest, then you can invest in a fund or hedge fund that is able to take your money and apply their own automated trading strategies to it. So that way you don't have to spend any time or money developing these strategies. You don't have to take the risk. You can offset everything to the company. They have to do all the hard work and then you are just taking that small risk of whatever strategy they're operating on it. However, that's always something that you should explore. If you can find a really good opportunity in a fund or a hedge fund that will do everything for you, then that can be a really good path for a lot of people. However, if you are looking to more devote a lot more time to automated trading or you're a manual trader, then another way you can take advantage of automated trading is by automating simpler parts of your everyday strategy in order to either have a time advantage or in order to increase your speed and efficiency of your trading. So let me give you a couple examples. Now, just off the top of my head, I can think of probably at least 10 people that I personally know who trade stock market opens every single day. So this means that they try to profit off of the first, let's say, 10 minutes of trading because it is so volatile and all the price moves are so fast. There are a lot of opportunities within these first 10 minutes. However, it can be extremely difficult to try to manually press the button right at the second the market opens without it already going up, let's say 10% because of some news or because of some reason because it's following the S&P 500, right? It's really hard to take advantage of these price moves. So one way that you can incorporate automated trading into your manual trading strategy is by automating the simpler parts of your strategy. So let's say I have a strategy where I find five pairs that in the first five seconds of trading decide the entire direction of the market within that day. So let's say that I have five stocks where if they go up 1%, then I know they're going to continue to go up throughout the day. And if they go up down 1% within the market open, then I know they're going to continue to go down throughout the rest of the day. So then what I can do is I can either pay someone to create this or I can create it myself. And then how you can incorporate this into your manual trading is instead of having everything fully automated where it has to find the stocks, etc., which can be super complicated, you can instead just manually find five stocks every day put it into your script. Your script does the trading within the first market open. So the second the market opens, it can do all the trading for you. So you don't have to try to press the button as quickly as possible and possibly even lose money, even if your strategy is profitable. So you can have an automated script do this for you. And then all you have to do is just choose the pairs. So that's one example of a way that you can partially automate your own strategy. Another way you can do this is with a very common strategy of dollar cost averaging. So let's say that I am a manual trader and I see an entry on Tesla. However, after I buy it, it continues to go down. And as it's going down, I want to buy a little bit more. Instead of staring at my computer for hours on end, waiting for it to go down and waiting for whatever move to happen, I can instead automate a strategy where if it goes down a little bit, then I will automatically enter and enter and enter as it goes down until it pivots back up. So there are lots of ways that you can incorporate automated trading into your manual trading that doesn't require you to spend years of your life focusing on this subject and trying to make a fully automated trading strategy, right? That's something that's very difficult and there are a lot of alternatives that you can still take advantage of without doing that. Now, if you are interested in learning more about automated trading and creating a fully automated strategy, if you actually want to get into the industry, then I will be making more advanced videos after this video, going more in depth into specific strategies and things that you need to understand in order to try to help you create an automated strategy. However, I really do want to stress that if you are looking to go down that route, it is going to be very difficult. It can take years of your life to learn just as manual trading can take years of your life to learn in order to become consistently profitable in the long term. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something about automated trading, how the market operates and why it's such a difficult industry, why people are getting paid so much to do this. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.